Well guys, it's official. The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered is actually happening and it's coming in just a couple months. PlayStation just announced this. Let me know first in the comments, how do you guys feel about this? Do you think it was a necessary uh, remaster or not? But wait till you hear all the information, obviously, before, you know, judging it. Uh, I, know, I know there's gonna be a lot of, you know, mixed opinions. I, I get it. Uh, but let me know what you think, okay? I do like the artwork. I'll, I'll give them that much uh, right, out, right out of the gate. But uh, let's go through it. If you enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. We do variety of gaming content, talk about the games, play the games here on the channel. Uh, a little bit of a variety of stuff. We've been doing a lot of Call of Duty lately just because that's kind of been the game that's been out recently. So we've been covering that a lot, doing a lot of bunch, bunch of guides and different things like that, having fun with that. Uh, and like I said, we just kind of go through the motions and play some, you know, play, do Let's Plays and, and, and guides and gaming news. I just love games, okay? I, I can't help it. It just burns from my soul. <laughs> Guys, let's check it out. <clears throat> so The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered is coming on PS5 uh, or 2 PS5 on January 19th, 2024. For. So about two months from now, at the time of recording this, they really wait, waited to the last minute. Uh, and they're basically saying it's the definitive way to play. Now, I know everybody's mixed on the game itself, the story. I'm mixed on the story. I played through it twice just to get the Platinum Trophy, but even I'm mixed on whether I like it or not. I, I don't know. There's elements that I'm like, okay, it's cool. Elements where I'm like, I don't like this. Uh, <clears throat> so <laughs> it's a very mixed bag um, of trail mix, I guess you could call it. Uh, let me know though, where you guys sit. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you sit somewhere in between like you're mixed? I don't know, I'm curious. Um, but basically, it's gonna, it's, they're like, it's gonna offer a bunch of new reasons to play it uh, and whatnot. Uh, you know, you, there's B-roll. I think I've been playing up on screen most likely, but uh, you know, in the intro, anyways. Uh, the Last of Us Part Two Remastered is designed to let you dig deeper into both its development and mechanics. It says, uh, chief among among these is brand new mode called No Return. It's a roguelike survival mode designed to let players prove their metal in randomized encounters and experience Last of Us Two. Uh, combat <clears throat> in a fresh experience. So it basically, you can choose from a variety of different characters, uh, playable characters to choose from. Uh, some playable for the first time in the Last of Us franchise, which you may have spotted uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in the trailer, they said. Uh, so anyways, it's basically uh, a different kind of mode and whatnot. And you kind of see a screenshot of it as well. So you're kind of like in the main town and stuff and you got to kind of go through and I don't know, it's just very interesting. So, I mean, that's going to be cool to see that there's a, a new mode uh added as well if we actually scroll up, i just want to make sure to miss anything here no i, I did not uh <laughs> all right they go on to say that uh, each run will offer a new chance to decide what rewards you get after each encounter how you spec out your character <clears throat> excuse me and a whole lot more there's gonna be a global leaderboard as part of a daily run uh and they're gonna share more about this mode closer to launch uh they said for those who've already played last was part two we know th uh, the included sections featuring a playable guitar were a favorite to many and uh you uh i don't know how to say that word whatever rock stars impressed us with your performances so <clears throat> we've introduced a new guitar free play mode so you just want to go in and play guitar you could do that there's going to be a whole mode just for that that's actually really really cool i love that uh it's gonna let you uh, strum the the strings across a host of uh, unlockable instruments use audio effects pedals to modulate your performance i mean it's basically like a little mini kind of like you know a sort of um I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, let's forget that. It's going to take me too too long. My brain is not working. Um, they all, they've all they also, uh, which by the way, great music in here. I love their rendition of Wayfaring Stranger. I did a cover of it on my music channel, Josh L Music on YouTube. If you guys ever want to check that out, I'll try to remember link it down in the description below. Um, I also did a, a version of it here on this channel that was kind of like a montage. It kind of came, it was kind of like a music video style that had a bunch of montage of the, uh, of the different memories with Joel and Ellie uh, through The Last of Us Part 1 and 2. Um, I don't know. I'm I, I'm kind of really impressed with how that turned out. But anyways, I, you don't care about that probably. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, so there's a new set of lost levels, which is very interesting in this game, um, which uh, allows players a unique chance to check out some playable sequences that were previously cut from the game. So that's going to be really cool to see as well. I think that's uh, adding a lot of value to this remaster. Uh, they said that these aren't fully finished levels, but they're basically early development slices that not only let you see how some, uh, some of the new glimpses in Last of Us Part 2's world, but also included embedded developer commentary to give them richer context. So again, they're not finished, you know, they're not going to be polished like the rest of the game and whatnot necessarily, uh, but they're going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, what, uh, you know, kind of went into it and some of the creative process they said and everything's like that. 
Um, moving on from that, they, they talked about a little bit more. They also uh, have newly recorded director's commentary across the campaign's cutscenes from Neil Druckmann and narrative lead Haley um, Gross. If Gross? Gross? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. No, I'm, not, I'm bad at names. It's probably Gross. I'm sorry. Um, and actors Troy Baker, Ashley Johnson, and Laura Bailey. Uh, so there's a bunch of that going on as well. Uh, additionally, it's going to have enhanced graphics, including 4K output in fidelity mode. Uh, it's going to be 1440p upscale to 4K in performance mode uh, and, and unlocked frame rate option for uh, TVs to support variable refresh rate, VRR, increased texture resolution, excuse me, uh, increased level of detail distances, improved shadow quality, animation sampling rate, and more. So they, they've made the, the game look even better uh, than it already was. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting as well. Again, it's a remaster, right? So it's not uh, an entire, it's not a remake, right? It's, it's a remaster. Um, so that's gonna be cool. Again, it's gonna be more rich and, and stuff. Again, you can see these screenshots. They, they look beautiful. They look really good. The game already looked pretty solid, but uh, it does look even better. And the cool thing is now, now you're gonna have, of course, improved loading times with the SSD, but also the DualSense wireless controller, right? With the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers, all of that they're gonna be utilizing. So that's gonna make the experience new as well. And that way, maybe you don't care about that, but you know, if you do, if you are interested in replaying this game, then you know that's another kind of thing to add to the list of, of you know, things that are gonna make it even better. Uh, so that's kind of what they went. They also have a bunch of accessibility options and everything like that. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you got uh, unlockable speed run mode, which was included in the last was part one. It's gonna be coming to the remaster. Um, you got a bunch of different things like that. Uh, they're they're going to be part of uh, of this. So um, again, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. One last thing, though, I will say uh, is they also have. They said, um, uh, where, where is it here? Pre-orders will be available beginning December fifth for both the standard edition as well as the WLF edition, which will be exclusively available from Direct PlayStation. Uh, so PlayStation Direct, which is going to be in select markets like the United States, uh, United Kingdom, Germany, France. Uh, ben, ben Lu, Ben Lux, I don't know say that. Italy, Spain, Portugal, and Austria. Canada's left out. I mean, why isn't Canada lumped in with the US? I don't know why, but anyways, whatever. It has a steel book case, uh, four enamel pins, a Washington Libera Liberation Front patch, and a total of 47 Society of Champion trading cards, including eight holographic cards, uh, which were a favorite part, uh, a favorite of part two players to collect in game. Uh, so they're bringing them to life. So you can see exactly what, what what's going on here. Let me know what you think about this uh, uh, remastered edition, the WLF edition rather, uh, and whatnot. And he, good news, if you already own The Last of Us Part 2 uh, on PlayStation 4, you're actually going to be able to upgrade to a digital version of Last of Us Remastered, uh, Last of Us Part 2 Remastered for only $10 USD, which is going to be about 15 bucks Canadian. Uh, so, and you're also going to be able to import your saves from the original game to Remastered. I wonder if that's going to mean an, an instant platform platinum or not i'll be curious to see that but that's great news i mean a ten dollar upgrade i mean come on i think at that point it's worth it if they were to not give that option and it was just like oh you got to buy the game all over again you know another like 50 60 70 80 bucks i think that would have been like okay it wouldn't have done well but the fact that if you own the game already okay 10 bucks and you get the remastered version i think that's great i, I love when, when 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 companies do that i think it's really really good but uh yeah, there you guys have it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, Last of Us Part 2 Remastered is happening. Uh, do you care? Do you not care? Do you hate the game? <laughs> do you love the game? Are you somewhere in the middle? What are your thoughts? Let me know, because I would love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments about this. Uh, again, it's been rumored for a while, and now it's official. And again, I really do like the artwork. The artwork is very, very cool. I think it's 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 really nice looking uh, artwork, and they're just very talented uh, artists um, and whatnot. So very talented group of devs, uh, despite the fact that we have our, our gripes with some of the storyline and, and whatnot. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys soon another one. Till then, game on. Catch you guys later. Hey, you, what are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army. Do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The earth is going to fade. That's inevitable. The next second of your life's not even promised, so you better think about where you're going, and you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kind of like you a little bit, so it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later.